Hello everyone, Mega Man NG here. It's time for another Ace Attorney anime review. I just finished watching today's episode, episode 7, Turnabout Samurai Last Trial, and I have a lot to say about it, so let's find some good music that would be best suitable for it. That's more like it. I started with this song, and it's gonna end the same way. Basically, this episode serves as the trial, the last day of the trial where Mr. Wright has to prove Will Power's innocent. Let me tell you, this episode was nuts. It was nuts, it was intense, and I loved it. I really did like it, even though there were some things that were omitted from the episode, but they took the liberty of adding some changes that made it all the more satisfying. Now, to sum it up, like I said, this episode has D. Vasquez taking the stand, and Mr. Wright has to, like, find out if she was the one responsible for Jack Hammer's death. It turned out she was, but there were some insane moments down the line. Like, how do I put this? Like, for example, like, some of the scenes where they unleash objections, and wind comes flying into the direction of the culprit. Like, in one direction, like, one time, he fired objection and struck D. Vasquez, and another, Edgeworth counters right back. I wonder if trials in Japan are like this. I don't really know for sure, because to be honest, this was nuts. Not to mention, we actually see Cody Hackens and Wendy Oldbag. They were on the sidelines, but they had a role to play, and they played their roles well. Like with Cody Hackens, for example, interrupting the trial, coming in and saying that the Steel Samurai is a good guy and everything, and he never kills. Never. It got so nuts that he broke down. So we actually get our breakdown here, and I felt bad for the kid. I felt bad, to be honest. I really did. Especially when he was, like, driven, like, taken out of court, like, held in contempt of court. And then Wendy Oldbag decides in her gut to basically help out and provide the photo that served as the killing blow to the case. But like the game itself, Edgeworth does help out, and he does so in a way that made me went, Huh? I literally had my mouth open the instant that happened, and it was just so satisfying, I loved it. Not to mention I can't get enough of it because it is just that good. The episode was good, and for what it's worth, I liked it. It was a good fitting end to Case 3, it was an intense one at that, and we actually now know the truth as to how Jackhammer died. But there was one thing that I kinda have a nitpick towards. They omitted one piece of evidence that ended up being the killing blow in the actual game. The sleeping pills. They, they basically omitted it without any reason whatsoever, but how it was done here was alright with me. Though it would have been nice to have the sleeping pills been mentioned because in the game, Phoenix Wright encountered like sleeping pills and had it investigated. Turned out it had Jack Hammer's fingerprints, which basically summed up how and why Jack Hammer died the way he did. Like for example, your honor. Jack Hammer drugged Will Powers with sleeping pills. Then, Jack Hammer went into his dressing room and stole the Seal Samurai costume. Jack Hammer then wore the Seal Samurai costume into fooling the security lady to thinking he was Powers. Then he went to Studio 2. For what purpose, you may ask? To kill the Vasquez who had so cruelly taken advantage of him all these years! It would have been much more satisfying, but what we got here is enough. And although it makes me wonder, why? Why would D. Vasquez do something like that? Sure, there was an incident in Studio 2 five years ago, but that was all we got. I wish there was like a lot more to it than that. Although seeing Mr. Wright and Mr. Edgeworth team up was satisfying. And it basically cements the fact that the two have known each other, just like in the games. Edgeworth's now saddled with these unnecessary feelings. Although I feel that he has a soft side because, yes, he is a Steel Samurai fan. And we actually do see it at the end of the episode when he's watching the Pink Princess, Warrior of Little Old Tokyo. It was just that good. It was like a nice little nod, especially since both of them have like some kind of keychain. I don't know what the keychains are, but what I do believe is that it's going to play a role in the next episode. Or rather, the next case, Turnabout Goodbyes. And speaking of which, yes, next week's episode starts Turnabout Goodbyes. Turnabout Goodbyes was one of the most important cases in the original Ace Attorney. In the original Ace Attorney, and I'm speaking the Japanese version when it came out for the GBA, this would be the last case of the series. And this was before it came overseas, and we had the inclusive Rise from the Ashes. So, this is gonna be good, and it's gonna be nuts because Wright is gonna be going up against a prosecutor with a 40-year career. 
a man who would do anything to get a guilty verdict, and he's even more sinister, Manfred von Karma. Basically, I loved the episode, I really enjoyed it, and yeah, it, was, it had provided a satisfying conclusion. Like I said, next week is gonna be nuts. But I gotta ask, what do you guys think of the episode? Was it good? Was it bad? Was it ever? Tell me. I wanna know what you guys think in the comments. And speaking of which, yes, I did see the trailers for Ace Attorney 6. My IRL friend night, I mean, Kalios is working on providing the trailer sub so that way I can provide it here. Yeah, we're friends in real life and we wanna help each other. I will be having a video where I discuss about my feelings about Ace Attorney 6 as well as what to expect along with all the new information. It's gonna be nuts. From what I've been hearing, Ace Attorney 6 is gonna be grand. However, I still feel upset that it's a digital only release and when my video is gonna be posted up, you guys are gonna see why. So anyway, that's it for this episode of my anime review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Since with TMNT now in hiatus and The Flash about to end in season two, Pretty soon, this is going to be the only day where you'll be seeing me do anime reviews. It sucks, but what can you do? At least I'm enjoying the Ace Attorney anime for what it is. I know people don't like it, but hey, I'm a fan of the Ace Attorney franchise and I enjoy it for what it is. I hope that you guys enjoy this too. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to hit the like button. It really does mean a lot to me. It really does, and it shows that you guys really do care for what I do. And I'll see you guys next week for when we talk about episode 8. Turn about goodbyes, first trial. Alright, that's it. This is Mega Man NG, signing off. Peace out.